Hey guys, Mr. Idol Hack here, back with another video. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to. Uh, I'm not gonna be showing you anything, guys. Nothing, nothing to do with how to. I'm showing you the after six months how the thermal grizzly cry knot has been. So I'll pop in a video of uh, my temps. It's gone shot back up. That's the problem. It's shot back up, but from my last video, if you're not seen it, seen it, I did a deep clean on it. It might have been the dust, so I'm not hundred percent sure of that. Because there was a lot of dust guys, a lot of dust. So I've cleaned all that so maybe the temps will drop again. But yeah. So, we're going to check the thermal paste anyway, see how it's performed over six months. If it's uh, depleted or gone round or... Because before I spread it out evenly, so everything should be straight flat. So, let's have a look. So, for this, you're going to use a screwdriver. And you're going to go around each one. Make sure you discharge yourself, touch metal, everything. Okay. So, there's a few screws. One there, one there, one there. Uh, you got these two here. Four there. And then I believe there was another one somewhere. Not hundred percent sure. But yeah. Alright guys. I'm gonna start from these ones first. Make sure you keep these screws safe. As they need to be tight. And I, what I like to do is uh, on the table where I put it. Arrange in the same order that I've got it out of. So as you know, I'll just show you there. There's my screws there, four of them in the order that they were. So these ones are going to go to the right now at the top. So I put them out exactly how I got them out because some of these are different sized. As I found out last time when I couldn't figure out how to put these some of these screws back in. It was a headache, so that's why I got it out. The order I get it out, I put it out on the table, how it was, so then I know exactly where they were. Okay. Okay, so there you go. I'll just show you now. So we got the middle section there, left section. Got four screws on the left, two on the top, one at the bottom. See what I mean? Just punch this up, so I know exactly where all the screws gonna go. I guess let me zoom in for you guys, so you can have a look. Okay, so now down to this side, all these have been done, I think. So, let's take this one off now. Okay. This one's very tight. That's what she said. Okay. One goes there, and this one goes there. I believe that's all the screws. So all you want to do now is just lift it. And there will be a ribbon on it, so I'll be very careful about that. I'll just show you now. I'm pretty sure all the screws are out. Let me just double check before I mess something up. I can't remember if you have to take this. Let me zoom out. I can't remember if you have to take any of these out. Hopefully not. Let's find out right now. It should just come straight off. Let's see. Oh. Did you hear that? Ah, there you go. So in my last video, ah, can you see, six months later, it's got, I think it's called pump or something. So what it does is it pumps out, and can you see it's not very, it's not making contact anymore. Can you see guys, you can see the bare metal. You should never be able to see the bare metal. That means that thermal paste has failed. That thermal paste has failed. So that's why all my heat has gone up again. So that's a big issue guys. You see the metal so good thing we're going to be replacing this so yeah so thermal paste grizzly whatever it's called cry or not is failed for me guys it's failed it's complete failure so i don't recommend using it it was okay for six months i guess until the temp started creeping up again and then i figured out why i guess because even though i spread it out evenly i put a lot on it's all bare metal even there can you see 
bare metal, bare metal and bare metal with no contact. You need something in between to make the contact. And this failed, hasn't it? It's all pushed out around the edges. It's not good. Not good at all, guys. Okay, so that's the Thermal Grizzly. Uh, what I'm going to be using next is the Arctic MX4. Because that's what's been recommended to me. It doesn't do this pump out or whatever it's called, dump out, whatever. I don't know what it's called. There's a special name for it. So, yeah. And I'm just going to clean this to stuff as well on the fan. I don't know if I'm zoomed in or not. Yeah, I'm zoomed in. So, can you see the dust there? I'm just going to clean all that up. And everything should be alright. So, watch out for my next video. I'm going to do repasting of all this and the VRMs. Because last time I didn't do the VRMs. You can see how dry they are. So, that will help the temps a lot. So, I'm going to do that now as well. And, yeah. Check out my next video, guys, then. And stay tuned. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.